Pixel games are a dime a dozen. Many come and go without much fanfare. So many that most overlook these games just because of their pixel art style. A lot of hidden gems have this kind of style, but it can be difficult to separate the gold from everything else. However, Owlboy looks to be one of those games. Its intricate story and wonderful pixely world looks to be entrancing. But does that beauty also come with the fun game? Let's find out. What is happening, Matt Made here, bringing you my review of Owlboy on Nintendo Switch. Owlboy starts off pretty messed up. You play as Otis, an owl in training that seemingly can't do much of anything right. Also, he's a mute and can't speak at all. This leads to many hardships as his mentor Asio is tough on him. Otis is sent out to guard the village and to look for any suspicious people. Lo and behold, some pirates attack and Otis along with his best bud, Getty, go track them down. This leads to the discovery of a relic and sends them on a journey the world over to stop the pirates from gathering all three relics. The story is pretty dark. Throughout your journey, you feel for the characters and for Otis especially. As someone who can't talk, he is sometimes at the mercy of those around him. Add in the fact that he's shy and unsure of himself and you just want him to be happy and not be going through what he goes through. The interaction between the characters as the story progresses and their interpersonal relationships really give the game and stakes weight, with some pretty interesting twists along the way. The gameplay is interesting and unique. You can't attack things directly, however each of your allies have an attack to help you get through obstacles. Getty has a pistol and can hit enemies far away, Alphonse has a blunderbuss that does massive damage, and lastly you have Twig, who can wrap enemies up and zip you around stages. Each ally adds a layer of complexity and freshness to the game, all the while keeping the mechanics easy to understand. As an owl, Otis can fly around at any given time. You fly around the stage picking things up and spinning on things in order to unlock them. The added verticality of the game is cool as you have to fly around and think about the puzzles a bit differently in order to proceed through the levels. You can throw your allies on the buttons in order to get through doors as well as use their specific traits in order to break down or blow something up. You also have the ability to switch between them on the fly. Pun intended. If you see that one of your allies attacks aren't working, Switching to another might do the trick and help get past whatever obstacle is in your way. In the game, Otis doesn't get any sort of upgrades aside from an increase in health. The health upgrades come as you collect the in-world cash, called Buccaneery Coins. These coins aren't spent, more so the more you collect, the more things you can get in her shop. Primarily the aforementioned upgrades. These health upgrades come in handy as enemies lay on damage pretty quickly. On top of that, you can get upgrades from each of your allies' weapons, as well as get spiffy matching hats to show your camaraderie, turning Otis into the most precious little owl that you have ever seen. The upgrades for your allies range from getting a longer range gun to a blunderbuss doing a lot more damage and spreading farther. The way the world is laid out is impeccable. The game isn't large by any means, but what's there is detailed as hell. Each locale comes with its own dangers and enemies. From grassy open areas to lava filled caverns, the ecosystem is diverse. The main hub even goes through a day night cycle. This just makes you want to explore to see what's different and what secrets are in the game. Even though many people dump on pixel art games nowadays, this game looks gorgeous. Everything oozes detail and no matter where you are in the world, there are no cut corners. There were, however, times I would get hit and clip through things or the game couldn't tell where I should be so I could walk on air without flying. These were few and far between and were more funny than frustrating. Even then, the game's scenery is so vibrant that the small glitches and issues didn't hamper my enjoyment of the game. The characters are also really detailed and diverse. All of the owls, especially Fib and Bonacci, have unique personalities. Yes, the Fibonacci reference was not lost on me. I fell out laughing when they said their names. It's a cute little touch for those who know about him and his famous sequence. Every character in this game was unique and there was no reused sprites or assets for them. Even the normal grunts had small nuances about them that differentiated them. Learning more about the owls and seeing how their ancestors shaped the world around them was intriguing. 
The structures they built are fantastical and intricate. The music is fantastic as well. It shifts and changes during the day-night cycle in the main hub. It's impactful and reflects Otis's mindset during events and things happening to him. It works well to build the world and establish events. The whimsical environments are complemented by equally upbeat music when you're exploring and coasting through the world. However, it gets dark and brooding when the big bad shows up and starts wrecking things. The music is simple yet effective. Now, Our Boy is a short and intimate adventure. It tells a tale that even if you mess up, even if nobody knows what you have done, it's still worth trying your best and not giving up. The things may seem dire and look like someone is on the wrong side of things, but talking it out is sometimes the best way to solve problems, even if you lack the ability to do so. It's a game that leaves you wanting to explore the world as well as find all its secrets and just what the owls were hiding. Owlboy is definitely a game that you should experience if you're a fan of indies, platformers, or just good games. Its lovable characters and vibrant world are a delight. The controls are tight, and with your allies by your side, you feel nearly unstoppable. It is a game that I cannot recommend enough. Have you played Owlboy? Have you heard of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget, if you're a fan of gaming, consider striking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. This is Matt Maid, and I will see you tomorrow.